hi everyone in this video we are going to talk about intrauterine death that is IOD now the very concept you need to know is before 22 weeks that is the period of viability or the weight of the fetus is more or less than 500 gram then it's called missed abortion so remember this figure 22 weeks and 500 grams if it is less than this thing one or two it will be called as a missed abortion but if more than 22 weeks or 500 gram it will be called intrauterine death so this is very important for the medical legal aspect now how you diagnose the thing the most important thing is when you uh, diagnose is there is no fetal heart can be heard by stetho okay the uterine height can be decreased and the liquor can also be decreased these two symptoms comes after some time of IOD that means a uh, uh, minimum two weeks okay now the final diagnosis is made by ultrasound in which we see is uh, no fetal heart movements can be seen and we reconfirm it by doing Doppler so now at this point of time what is important is predicting the timing of the death that will give you this idea about the management because uh, the long term IODs have higher chances of coagulation abnormalities and can be uh, result in DIC there are uh, subtle signs but the two signs are very important first is robot sign robot signs means there is a presence of gas in great vessels for example aorta pulmonary veins like that so if there are a presence of gas then it is a IUD but this sign is very important because it is the earliest sign it comes within 12 hours of IUD now the very important sign is Spalding sign that means the overlapping of fetal skull bones the thing you need to know is it comes only after 7 days of IUD so whenever you see a Spalding sign that means that you are seeing a late IUD means already time has gone at least 7 days so you need to act very cautiously now uh, we need to investigate obviously we need to get the routine investigations but very important are LFTs, KFTs and coagulation profile this will decide the plan of management well the management wise thing is the first important thing is a breaking of bra uh, bad news to the relatives and the mother it is it is a re really really great psychological uh, problem for this matter to to the mother and the family obviously first of all this thing should be taken time you know just not like that this, this is an iud and let's start the treatment of iud you know it's not like that you have to give them some time the second thing is documentation after you make them realize that that there is an iud the very important next thing is documentation take signs of them take informed consent then further uh, tell them the sequences of induction of labor that we are going to do earlier it was a time when when IUD was left for spontaneous labor it will uh, take two uh, around two weeks time but nowadays it is not referred induction of labor is done as soon as possible so just like another uh, IOL what you see is a BSUP score if it is more than 6, you start the synthro directly to induce the uterine contraction. If it is less than 6, then you need to do cervical ripening with the help of PGE2GL followed by synthial. Now, the very important thing is don't do ARM in this uh, thing. Why? Because there is chance of infection and uh, the head is not that hard consistency. So, it will not lead the uh, the uh, the labor you know 
what will lead the labor that means that will die that will cause making of LUS lower uterine segment and effacement and dilatation of cervix the main thing here will be the back of membrane and not the head because head consistency is not well good so don't do ARM cesarean section is avoided at point you know it's very harmful that if you are doing a cesarean section you are not getting a live baby this is actually very harmful to the mother so don't do cesarean section until unless it is necessary this is a high risk pregnancy high risk delivery there are higher chances of pph and that's why you need to be ready with uh, cope up with this pph you need to have uh, blood investigation ready uh, blood products ready this is how you deal with the uh, iod one very important aspect of iod uh, the management of iod is you need to investigate the reason of iod what what can be the reason of iod first of all uh, see for the maternal problems for example hypertensive disorders abruptio placenta uh, placental hemorrhage retroplacental hematoma all these things you need to first of all realize that, uh, that it can be the reason of iod the second thing you need to do the genetic examination of the baby and it's not done in all the cases but if it is uh, appear uh, if it is doing regularly for example previous history of iod also then you must examine the baby and do genetic karyotype of the baby this is very very important in this case okay this uh, this for all thank you